Good evening, everybody. Deacon Chuck Hoppy here from St. Francis de Sales and Prince of Peace. We've been doing the Stations of the Cross, frankly, for most of the adults, but um, with a, a little bit of ingenuity and, and asking my wife to do some homework, she always comes through. We found a wonderful little Stations of the Cross that, that really is targeted at our younger children. Um, so I'm going to do the Stations of the Cross, and hopefully the parents will do this one with their children, especially their young children. So I'm just going to go with what's in the book here, and, and then we'll go from there. So I'm so happy you're willing to join me on this journey. That's what the Stations of the Cross are, a journey for Jesus. The journey was real. He had to walk down a long, dusty road carrying a heavy cross. At the end of that road, soldiers nailed Jesus to that cross. They thought he was lying about being the Son of God. Jesus died on that cross. For us, the Stations of the Cross are a prayer journey. We read these 14 stations to learn about what happened to Jesus when he died. When we see how much Jesus suffered, we realize just how much he loved us. We can say prayers of thanks and love every step of his way. When things are tough in our own lives, we can imagine what it was like to be in Jesus' sandals. We can remember that after all Jesus went through, God raised him from the dead and took him to heaven. During this Lent, we walk on this journey with Jesus. As we pray, we imagine what it was like to be there when Jesus takes the rough, heavy cross. We see Jesus when he falls three times because he is hurt and tired. We go with Jesus to the top of the hill where they nail him to the cross. We walk this sad journey with Jesus because he did it for us, to help make us sinless, to help make up for our sins. This journey goes to a wonderful place, heaven. On Easter, we remember that God raised Jesus from the dead, and we celebrate. Because Jesus died on the cross, he opened the door to heaven for us. When we walk with him, Jesus will lead us through that door to joy forever. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, you must have felt so scared when they told you that you were going to die on the cross. Sometimes I feel scared about things I have to do. I feel nervous and worried, and I wish that it would all just go away. Help me be brave just as you were, Jesus. Help me to tell the truth and help me to do what I know I need to do. I know you always love me and protect me. Please remind me just how close you are when I am scared. Amen. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, the cross they gave you to carry was so rough and heavy. It hurt your hands and shoulders right from the start. And it was so big, you had to drag it step by step. The road ahead was very long, and at the end, you were going to die. Your journey must have seemed impossible. Even so, you reached out and took the cross. Share your strength with me, Jesus, when I have to do a big project or a hard chore. I will remember how you took the cross without complaining or running away. Help me be as strong as you were when I have to face my responsibilities. Teach me to do my work with your grace. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, it really hurt when you fell down with the heavy cross. It probably hurt your feelings, too, when some of the people teased you because you fell. It must have been so hard to get up. When I fall, it hurts in lots of ways. Sometimes I get a bruise, and sometimes I also feel really embarrassed. I'm glad you're with me, Jesus, when I fall. 
to help me get back up and dust myself off. You make me feel better in every way, because I know you love me and you care about me. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus sees his mother, Mary. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, your mother was always there for you. She stood by the road while you carried the cross, even though it broke her heart to see you hurting. It must have made you feel so much better to see her then. Mary, know, Mary knew you needed her love. Thank you for the people who love me, Jesus. They make me feel safe and happy when things go wrong. I will do my best to show them how much I love them too. Please bless them with your grace and protection. Amen. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, I wonder what Simon must have thought when the soldiers grabbed him from the crowd and made him help you. He didn't know you, and he saw everyone teasing and hurting you. I wonder whether he felt scared. I wonder whether he felt bad for you. I wonder whether he felt glad he could help you. Simon's hands and shoulders made things easier for you for a little while. Thank you, Jesus, for the people in my life who make things easier for me when I'm having a hard time. Thank you for the times when you have been by my side. Please give me strong shoulders and a strong heart so that I can make things easier for people who need help. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes Jesus' face. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, Veronica was very brave. She knew that most of the people in the crowd hated you because you called yourself the Son of God. She knew they wanted to punish your friends, too. But Veronica saw that you were sweaty and dirty and bleeding, so she wiped your face with her cloth. Jesus, teach me how to be brave like Veronica. Show me how to help someone who is in trouble, even if all my friends are teasing that person. Show me how to care for someone who is hurt. Even if I can't fix the problem, I can be nice and make someone feel better. Thank you, Jesus, for making me feel better when I need to feel loved. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, there are times when I really, really feel like giving up. It's tough to try again when something doesn't go right. Sometimes it seems as if the work is just too hard. Sometimes it feels as if I'm just not good enough. It would be easy to go and do something else. But you were able to get up and try again, even after you fell twice. It was really hard for you. It would have been even easier to say you were wrong and give up. But you knew how very important it was for God's plan. Some things are just that important. Thank you for showing me how to keep trying. I will remember you when I fall down, when things go wrong, even if they go wrong twice. Amen. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, the women of Jerusalem were so sad for you. They cried and cried because you had to carry the cross. They were scared because you were going to die. But you told them, do not weep for me. You trusted that God the Father would make everything okay in the end. Sometimes I feel very scared because I don't understand what's happening in my life. Bad things sometimes happen, and I don't know how to get it, if it will get better. But I know there are people who will take care of me. Even more important, 
I know that you will watch over me. I know I can always pray to you when I feel like crying. Amen. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, it was a good thing you were almost at the end of the road when you fell the third time. You must have been so tired and in so much pain. Some of your friends were very sad because they knew that when you got to the end, you were going to die on the cross. But you trusted that after you died on the cross, God the Father would make everything okay. Even though it seemed real, like a really sad time to your friends, you knew that you would be able to be with them in a deeper way than before. Some things are like that. They seem terrible until we understand why. People who have faith believe that God has a reason for everything. Jesus, help my faith grow so that even when things seem terrible, I will trust that God can make everything okay. Amen. The 10th station, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, the soldiers were trying to do everything they, took, they could to hurt and embarrass you. They even took your clothes and rolled dice to see who could have them. They were not treating you like the Son of God. I'm sorry for the times I have made someone else feel embarrassed. When I hurt them, I hurt you too. Please forgive me for the times I was mean. I will remember to treat everyone just as I would treat you. And please forgive those people who have made me feel embarrassed. Help them remember to treat me and others as they would treat you too. Amen. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, I can't imagine how much pain you suffered when they nailed your hands and feet to the cross. Even worse, people around you were teasing you. They said you should save yourself if you are really the Son of God. One prisoner, who was on the cross beside you, believed in your power. Because he believed, he got a place in heaven. Your mother, Mary, and your disciple, John, were there with you, even as you were hanging from the cross. It must have been so hard for them to watch you suffer. I will try to be like Mary and John when my friends or family need me. I will be there when it's really hard to see them hurt so much. And I want to be like that prisoner who believed. I know that you are with me now, Jesus, and I want to be with you too. Amen. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, when the ground started to shake, the sun stopped shining, and the curtain in the temple tore in two, some people became very scared. When you died on the cross, some of them realized what a terrible mistake they had made. They realized you weren't a liar, and they went home very afraid. I have made mistakes too. I know that I need to try to fix my mistakes and to do better the next time. I have to tell people I'm sorry. I also have to tell you I'm sorry. Thank you, Jesus, for all the times you've forgiven me for my mistakes. Thank you for the love you show me. I love you too, Jesus. Amen. The thirteenth station. Jesus is removed from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, a man named Joseph of Arimathea was kind and brave to take your body down from the cross. He knew that some people still thought you were a liar and hated you and your friends. But Joseph wanted to show his love for you, so he carefully wrapped you in soft cloth, just as he would do for someone in his own family. It is easy to give someone many extra things 
or to help them when I have extra time. It's very hard to help someone when I don't have extra things or extra time. Please show me how to give, even when it is hard. I know this would make you very happy, just as Joseph must have made God the Father very happy. Amen. The 14th station, Jesus is buried. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dear Jesus, your friends have been very sad when Joseph of Arimathea rolled that giant stone in front of your tomb. As they sat outside the cave, they probably wondered what to do next. They didn't have a leader anymore. There were many people who hated them for being friends with you. They would have missed, they would have missed you very much. Sometimes I feel very lonely. Sometimes my friends or parents are mad at me. Sometimes I don't know anyone in a new place. I'm so glad that you are always by my side, Jesus. I know that you are always my friend. I will never be alone. I want to follow you, Jesus, as I make my own journey through life. Amen. Easter, the rest of the story. Jesus' friends went back to his tomb on the third day to watch and pray. But when they arrived, they were surprised to see that the giant stone had been moved. They looked inside, but Jesus was nowhere to be found. Instead, the friends saw two angels. The angels told them that Jesus was not there because he had been risen from the dead. Jesus' friend, Mary Magdalene, was frightened. But then she saw Jesus, and he told her that he was alive. She ran to tell the rest of Jesus' friends. They didn't know what to think. They didn't believe Mary. But Jesus visited again one day, walking with two of his friends to a town called Emmaus. Later, he joined all his friends in a room where they were hiding, trying to decide what to do next. That's when his friends knew Jesus had really risen from the dead. His power, God's power, was stronger than death. Jesus sent his friends out to tell the world this wonderful news. They went on many journeys to spread the good news. Jesus wants to make that same journey today. I want to thank you all for doing this Stations of the Cross with me. This uh, actually came from our Sunday visitor, which if you go online, you can probably find it. But it's a great little Stations of the Cross book for children. I do hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing everybody during Holy Week and especially at Easter. God bless you all.